It's hard to be in a rut. It's frustrating when you wake up and you just don't have the energy and the focus to make happen what needs to happen in the day. It's even harder when you don't really know what needs to happen. And that happens all the time in startups. Nobody's got a very precise playbook to use to make your particular startup a success. People have got all kinds of rubrics and methodologies and helpful ways of reflecting on what kinds of things need to be done at different stages of a company. These things are really helpful and they will help you reflect and think more clearly. But it can be hard at points when that clear thinking just isn't coming. I've found generally in my career as a knowledge worker that it's hard to demand the same level of output and attention and focus every day. That when I try to do that, I get consistent results, but they're consistently poor. And I find that when I allow my productivity to vary, it's harder to manage, but I net get more things done because I will have a day when I end up getting a month of work done and I'll have days when I get almost nothing done at all. But if you have a couple days in a month where you get a month worth of work done, (laughs) then, then you're performing pretty well. But it's tricky because unlike in a job where it's pretty clear what specific thing that you have to do day in, day out, When your job is creating new things and coming up with new ideas, it's hard to systematize that and get a consistent and high quality of output every day. Now maybe, maybe we'll find that different people's brains work differently. And for some people, having that structure and discipline does actually indeed lead to higher output. So... I can only speak for my own brain and what I've seen work and theorize that other people's brains may work similarly, at least for some portion of the population. And I think for folks like me, it's important that when we're in the flow to respect that and double down and when we're out of the flow to not beat ourselves up for it, but rather just breathe in, breathe out, maybe read a good book, sip some coffee, and wait for the muse to return.